Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have a t to the power of 4 equals to minus 4. Uh, so here we find all the roots of this equation. So you see here, this is fourth order equation. It means that this equation has four roots. So we will find all of that four roots. Uh, uh, so these roots are real or complex. It, it is It does not matter. Here we need all that roots. Okay. Uh, so here uh, the very first step we are going to do is first we need to move this minus 4 in the left hand side so it will be written as t to the power of 4 and plus 4 equals to 0 so here uh, after this step we rewrite this equation as this is t to the power of 4 minus 4 and we write this minus 4 as minus times of minus 4 and this is equals to 0 so here we know that uh, iota square is equals to minus 1 because of uh, here you have uh, the value of iota is equals to minus 1 square root and when we take the scaling on both of the sides then you get iota square equals to minus 1. So uh, according to uh, this uh, we will uh, just write this uh, minus 4 we substitute this minus equals to iota square and it will be written as t to the power of 4 minus iota square into 4 and this is equals to 0. So further we need more simplifications and uh, we rewrite this equation as we write this t to the power of 4 as t square and its whole square minus we write this iota square into 4 as uh, iota into 2 whole square and this is equals to 0. So here we will apply the algebraic formula you know that if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b so according to this here our a is t square and our b is 2 iota so uh, when you can apply this formula we will write our uh, above equation as it will be written as t square minus 2 iota into t square plus 2 iota and this whole equation equals to 0. So now in the next step uh, we need to uh, divide this equation into the two cases so that our first case is to write t square minus 2 iota equals to 0. And the second case is we write t square plus 2 iota equals to 0. So from here we will move this minus 2 iota to the right hand side and it will be written as t square equals to 2 iota. And from this case we move this plus 2 iota to the right hand side and it will be written as minus 2 iota. So here uh, further we need uh, more simplifications and now we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So first we will focus on equation number 1. So from equation number 1 we have we copy down equation number 1 here it is t square equals to 2 iota. So now we uh, focus in the right hand side and here we will add or subtract 1 and we write it as 1 plus 2 iota and minus 1 okay uh, so here uh, uh, we, you know that uh, this minus 1 equals to iota square so we write this 1 as 1 square plus we write this 2 times of iota as 2 times of 1 into iota and we know that this minus 1 equals to iota square okay iota square equals to minus 1 we will replace this minus 1 equals to iota square so after this step you see here this will becomes a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square this will become the algebraic formula so according to this we write it as this is equals to 1 plus iota and its whole square and here we have this is t square so now in order to find the value of t we need to take the square root on both of the sides so this two and square root are gone and we will obtain here t equals to this two and square root are gone and we get one plus iota this is plus minus one plus iota okay uh, these are the two complex roots of the given equation and now here in order to find the other roots we need uh, to copy down equation number two here so uh, we will focus on equation number 2 so that uh, from 2 we have 
t square equals to minus 2 iota and here again we will add or subtract uh, a 1 and we add or subtract 1 in the right hand side and we rewrite it as 1 minus 2 iota and this is minus 1. So further we again rewrite its right hand side as t square equals to we write this 1 as 1 square minus we write this 2 iota as 2 times of uh, 1 into iota and we replace this minus 1 equals to iota square so again uh, it is a, a, it will becomes here this algebraic formula uh, you know that if you have a minus b whole square it is equals to a square minus 2 times of a b plus b square so according to the here you have the right hand side now we need to convert the right hand side into the left hand side so when you combine all of these terms it will be written as t square equals to 1 minus iota and its whole square so when you can expand this square you will get here this output okay so now here in the next step we uh, again take squaring on both of the sides uh, in this way these two and square root are gone and you get t equals to plus minus this two and square root are gone and we get one minus iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation uh, so these are the two complex roots and uh, uh, other we have the other two complex roots are t equals to uh, plus minus one plus iota these are the four complex roots of the given equation and now here we need to verify the roots so that here i can just verify the one root and i can left the other verification root for up to you you can do yourself so first we will verify t is equals to one minus iota this is a positive root okay so that we will copy down the given question statement it is t to the power of four equals to minus four uh, and now here so here we substitute uh, this value of t in the left hand side and we check is this equals to right hand side or not so uh, in the left hand side we have 1 minus iota to the power of 4 and we check is this equals to minus 4 so that uh, here we uh, rewrite this expression as we write it as 1 minus iota square and its whole square and we check that is this equals to minus 4 so here when you can expand and this algebraic identity it will be written as 1 square minus 2 times of 1 into iota and plus iota square and its whole square and this is equals to minus 4 this is our claim uh, so here you see that uh, 1 square equals to 1 and this is minus 2 times of iota and iota square is also equals to minus 1 and its whole square and we claim is this equals to minus 4 this is minus and plus are cancelled by each other and we get to minus 2 iota and its whole square and we check that is this equals to minus 4 or not okay so this is minus 2 square becomes plus 4 and iota square becomes iota square equals to minus 4 and we know that iota square is equals to minus 4 equals to minus 4 this shows that the value of t satisfied the given question statement and similarly you will check the other roots of the given equation which we find above and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos